If you want to create a template in Elementor for your blogs, watch this tutorial. Using templates is a really clever way to get content up super quick, keeps the consistent style of your overall website, and even lets you outsource the blog creation and uploading tasks without worrying about it not being done properly. I also cover what essential elements your blog needs so that it is SEO friendly and converts. And also make sure you watch until the end so you can find out about our upcoming live do it with you workshops because they really are life changing and takes your business to the next level. There's no more procrastination. We do it with you live. <laughs> Hi ladies and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany and I'm one of the creators of the Caffeinate Academy. It is a digital minimalist online learning platform and community for women entrepreneurs over 40 who do not want to be slaves to social media. On this channel, we talk about and share the things every midlife entrepreneur needs to know to perk up their online confidence, create deep and meaningful connections without social media, and have inquiries pouring into their inbox on autopilot. Before we get to it, if you want to see more videos like this, please click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you can get notified when we post our next video. What we're going to create is a template for your blog within Elementor, the free version, so that you have a blog layout already saved. You can just rinse and repeat and you can ensure that it is set up for getting results such as generating leads, inquiries, i.e. conversions. So this is the layout that we're going to create and it will always start with a blog heading which includes the keyword. You don't have to have this but you can have the name and date. Then you'll have either a banner image or the embedded video if you are using video as your primary source of long form content which you would then convert into a blog. So this will be the space where you would have the image or the video. Then you'll always have an introduction paragraph. It's very important that you include a key, the keyword in as well, the same as that you have in the title. Then you have a bit of space. And then each subheading will have uh, keywords or questions that are common that make up the body of the blog post recommend that you include bullets or numbered lists within your blog because Google loves that. You might be lucky and show up in the snippets. So in your, when Google shows some resu results um, in their search page, they sometimes highlight um, these bullet lists and numbered lists. So that's good for SEO. And then you're going to break it up into subheadings, which again includes the keyword or a question. Uh, you can put an image straight after the, the subheading and then you have the content of that particular subheading and you do that as many times as you need based on the blog content. Then you make sure that you include a lead magnet offer, so a freebie, something that you can build your email list and that is related to the blog post. So you might have one that you've already created that you can then put in or you create one specifically for the blog that will enhance the value of the blog checklists and um, all these kind of things. So it, you would have it embedded into your particular blog post. Then you keep going with next subheading, image, paragraph. So that's the structure of each um, section of your blog. Then if you are going to be leveraging Pinterest, which is also a search engine based platform, and so your content will live there longer, include a Pinterest image and the sizing is 1000 by 1500 pixels. And it's always nice to have already made anyway, so that when you share it to your Pinterest um, boards, you have you can use the same image. But then people who are reading your blog article might want to pin it um, as well and then you already have the right format for them and then also good to include links to related articles to that blog now you i would recommend that you manually do this but if you, if you have too many blogs then you can do it automatically and then at the end sometimes you can include again the call to action lead magnet to build up your list and if you want to engage and have comments on your blog, you can do that as well. So there's also a section there. That's the bulk of the 
blog. And then on the right hand side is the widget area, the right hand side widgets and recommend you have a little bit of an intro about you. If you're a one person um, business, then about you and um, just a little blurb, say hello. This will then be automatic. Like this is more of a generic um, lead magnet um, that you to again to build the list and then top articles and categories. So this is a really good layout for your blogs that you can rinse and repeat. And instead of starting from scratch each time, we're going to create a um, template within Elementor. And then each time you have a blog, you just use the template. Okay, so let's jump into WordPress. This is what the tutorial is um, done on WordPress. And it's again, like I said, it's with the free version of Elementor. So what we go and do is under templates, click on add new. And then we can choose what type of template it is. Is it a page or a section? And it's going to be a page. And we're going to call it blog template. Oops whatever you want to call it, so you can easily identify it. And then click on Create Template. So what you are then loading is your Elementor uh, Builder, and it will already show your heading, I mean, your, your the header of the website. And when it finishes loading, I'll show you, okay. <laughs> Um, so automatically I have my right hand side which is activated now the tutorial uh, it, this video tutorial I'm going to walk you through this part of your blog article okay so you are left with a blank canvas you start creating it you add the building blocks that you need so if you're going to be embedding a video you would drag and drop the video here and you, you can leave this blank because you'll be updating it each time with the new um, videos. If you want to choose an image, let me just get rid of that, delete, then you can just put your image here. Okay, so let's leave it with an image. This, this will be your banner image. <clears throat> then we're going to go and write introduction paragraphs. So we're going to, let me just move my thing here. Go to your elements again that you need to add and you want to add the, the paragraph underneath it. So that will be your, your text editor. You can just call it intro paragraph. So you know in your template that that's what's going to go there. You can either print this out and just follow it or just go backwards and forwards like I've done. Then you add a little bit of a spacer. There we go. Drag and drop. I'm assuming you're a little bit familiar with this, with using Elementor. Now, if you close this panel, you will actually see what it looks like on desktop straight away. So sometimes you see that maybe the spacing is not not right or whatever, but then you can just add in another spacer. So. There we go. Okay. Then what we have, we have subheading. There we go. So let's use the heading, drag and drop. Okay. So you just write what's going to be there and it's going to be an H2. So your H1 will be the actual title of your blog post and h2 is then the, the subheadings below it okay then we're going to put a bullet list so we're going to add another text editor field and um, we're going to just copy and paste here so that it is already there for you and just set, select all and click on bulleted list oh, and you'll have to just go back up down back and down there we go Fine, then that's the next section done. Then we're going to go into another subheading. What you can do is duplicate, excuse my phone. Okay, duplicate that. And you 
you can drag and drop it below because literally it's drag uh, duplicate should take you what 10 minutes to um, sorry uh, to create this template I'm going to copy that not duplicate it and this will be your just your paragraph that goes with that subtitle uh, we forgot to put an image so let's go and get an image drag and drop between those two I like to have a bit of space underneath the images so I'm going to get another spacer drag it down okay and then we've got a lead magnet offer. Now, if you have a, a plugin like Thrive Leads or something like that, you can actually create them there and then just put the embed the code. If you don't, then we can create it. So uh, the general layout is a box, title, the description, a button, which will take you to the actual opt-in page. I like to have an opt-in page as opposed to a pop-up because for, for tracking for Google Analytics, you have a clearer path. Um, it's just my preference, but you can also have a pop-up that's up to you. Okay, and an image here. So we're going to create an inner section within this section. And it's got two columns already for me, which is great. I want to change the background of the whole inner section. So we'll go to style, background, um, we're just going to choose a color. Whoops, not an image. Sorry, color. You can choose an image too if you like. Let's go choose one of my global colors. Let's go with that one. And here we're going to have a title. So I'm going to just so I can keep the formatting the same. I'm going to take these. And maybe I want to actually change it to an H3 so that it has a hierarchy. I'm going to have a paragraph which will have the description. Here we go. Description of lead magnet or offer. Let me just take that title. Oops, sorry. And there we go. And then we need a button. So let's go and find an element for a button. Okay, I'm going to need to style it. That didn't actually land in the right place. I need it within this box. There we go. And here we're going to have an image. That will be the image of your lead magnet, your stack. Don't like the spacing here. It needs to be um, aligned in the middle. So we want a vertical align. So before I just jump, click on the column. So you're selecting this box only and you want all that content to be aligned in the middle. So we're going to go click vertical align middle. Beautiful. Still too close to the edge for my liking. So let's add some da, 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 some padding. So on the left, I would like 20 pixels. Not everywhere. Make sure that you unlink that. 20, maybe 40. And then what we do on the left, we must do on the right. So it's all nicely aligned. And we're probably going to do that with the image as well, so that you have the same spacing on here as of here. So I'm just going to click on the image, go to advanced, unclick the link, and we're going to do 40 and 40. Okay. Don't like the top uh, padding, so I'm going to have to go back to the column of that and just put another 40. We're going to put it 40 all around, so it's nice and even. And we're going to do the same with the image. So I'm just going to link it all together. And there's 40. And then the button you can style um, how you like. You change the text. You might have one saved. You make sure that the link is going to your opt-in page where you have your form. So people can fill it out. You get the email address and they, they um, fill out their details and you send them an email with the link. You can align it in the middle to the left, change the color and the style section as you wish. Let's do that. And you can play around as much as you want there. Okay, so now you've got the placeholder for your lead magnet, which can change 
um, depending on your blog article or the same one each time when you use a, a lead plugin like Thrive Leads. Great. Next we move into again subheading image paragraph. You will do this as many times as you need. Um, generally a blog is about a thousand words so you'll definitely be having oh, I need to get it underneath there you'll definitely be having quite a few of these about three or four sections okay. duplicate okay I need some spacing there And spacing under the image. Okay, then Pinterest image. As I mentioned at the beginning, uh, we would like to include that. So I'm going to duplicate the image, and this will be your Pinterest image. Um, I'm just going to put one, just a placeholder for now but I mean you can just leave it like this but just remember this is going to be for Pinterest and um, otherwise put a Pinterest image right in your template so that you know it's it is one that's what what belongs there okay and then links to related articles so I'm going to take the subheading again Related articles, and I'm going to maybe change it to an H3. So we can follow the hierarchy and it will be a bullet list format so I'm going to copy this one duplicate it and here your, will be your links you're going to put title of article and link so and then you can put as many as you want there but just make sure that it's related to this article because the idea is you want to keep people on your website on your blog so whoever reads this the, the, the blog article give them something that will that it's related and they'll want to read and then again you can put the lead magnet offer at the end or leave it out and then the comments will automatically depending on your settings of your blog be included or not so there you go. This is your blog template, image or video, intro paragraph, subheading, bullet lists, and then your sections, your lead magnet, your sections, your Pinterest image, and your related links. And then just before you save it, always check your responsive mode. So check what it will look like on a tablet and a, and a mobile. You click on responsive mode down here, and then you'll get the buttons up there, and you can see them here. You can take the panel away this is what it will actually look like on a tablet look at the lead magnet if you like that way around for mobile great otherwise image at the top or split it up and this would be mobile so that was tablet this is mobile you can adjust the heading sizes for mobile as you see fit so basically do your work here on your blog template and so that when you actually create a blog you can just use this template so now I'm going to show you how you can save it so I'm going to publish the template and now I'm going to show you how you can if you have a blog article and now you want to use this template how do you do that okay so go to posts either add new here or add new up there It will default to the WordPress Gutenberg 
editor. We don't want to do that if you want to have a styled template like we've just created. So you'll click on Edit with Elementor. And now what you need to do is upload the template that we have created. You click on the folder, which is Add Template. I navigate to my templates. There we go, it's just loading. And just search. If you have got lots of templates, just search for it. If not, then you'll find it quite easily. And then hover over the one that you like, want to keep. You can preview it just to check it's the right one, and then click Insert. It will ask you if you want to override the design and layout that you already have on this blank one, and you're going to say yes, apply. And there you go, this is the template that we created. And now you can simply go in and update the, the content. You can click on each of the elements and then update the content as you see necessary. Um, you can choose an image, you can put the, the, the video in, you can change the text, you can just update it. You can duplicate areas if you find that the blog needs more of these sections or if you need less. You change your lead magnet, your links, all of that. By default, we've got comments enabled. Yours would have by default as well, unless you've disabled it. And then once you're ready, you can just preview it by clicking on preview. Check your mobile responsiveness. And then lastly, you will need to go to settings and just change the, the title of this blog post. At the moment, it's just a random number. You can write your excerpt, so you can make sure that the, the right paragraph, a uh, couple of lines are used so that entices people to click on the blog. You add your featured image so that when you are sharing the blog on social media, it shows the right image. And that is all. And when you're ready, just click on publish. And there you go. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, check up our upcoming Done With You workshops. These are two hour guided and interactive workshops that we are running throughout this entire year created so that you can master the foundations of a successful content and inbox filling inquiry system without being slaves to social media. To find out which upcoming workshop is next, check out our events calendar on caffeinate.com forward slash workshop for a list of all the upcoming topics and get yourself booked. And that's all for now. See you in the next video and in the upcoming workshop. Bye bye.